Hello friends, today we are going to learn about calculation of instantaneous stress, maximum extension, energy store in the steel bar and modulus of resilience. Now first of all, looking about the example data, we have given 1.5 meter long and 30 mm diameter steel bar. It means that we have given L as a 1.5 meter which is equal to 1 5 double zero in terms of mm now next data is given as diameter which is equal to 30 mm and according to the area equation it is pi by 4 into d square and pi by 4 into diameter as a 30 mm so 30 square and our area is 706.5 mm square now next we have given suddenly applied load of axial pull as a 75 kN it means we have given the load value as a 75 kN it means 75 into 10 raised to 3 in terms of Newton which is suddenly applied So according to this data we have to calculate required terms. So first of all if we assume capital E for given steel material as a 2 into 10 raised to 5 in terms of Newton per mm square then first of all if we calculate maximum instantaneous stress for suddenly applied load it is written as sigma is equal to twice the force divided by area and force is given as 75 into 10 raised to 3 in terms of newton and area is 706.5 and our maximum instantaneous stress which is equal to 212.5 31 in terms of Newton per mm square. Now going ahead for the calculation of maximum extensions and we know that stress is directly proportional to strain hence sigma is equal to capital E into small e and small e is written as delta L by L and sigma is equal to capital E into delta L by L and we require the delta L value and delta L can be calculated by equation sigma into L divided by E. Now sigma is a stress which is 212.31 length is given as 1500 mm divided by capital E as a 2 into 10 raised to 5. So our delta L or maximum instantaneous extension which is equal to 1.59 mm. Now looking forward for energy stored in the material or energy stored in the bar according to required data. Our energy stored is denoted by U which is equal to square of stress divided by twice the modulus of elasticity into volume of material. Now volume can be written as area into length. Now putting all the values sigma is 212.31 all square divided by 2 into capital E as a 2 into 10 raised to 5. Now area of material is 706.5 and length as a 1500 mm. Hence our value is 119.42 into 10 raised to 3 Newton into mm. Now 10 raised to 3 mm which can be written as 119.42 Newton into meter and 1 Newton into meter as a joule. So 
our value is 119.42 in terms of joule so our energy stored in the bar for 75 kilo newton suddenly applied load is 119.42 newton into meter now going ahead for the modulus of resilience and modulus of resilience can be calculated by u which is equal to sigma square by twice the modulus of elasticity and if we denote it by u r as a modulus of resilience then it is 212.31 all square divided by 2 into capital E as a 2 into 10 raise to 5 newton per mm square hence our value is 0 0.113 newton mm per mm cube so thus we can calculate maximum instantaneous stress maximum instantaneous extension energy stored in the bar and modulus of resilience by given example thank you